I want to talk a little bit about, you know, that you said, you know, you always had a passion on art and you turned your passion into a business. I think a lot of times people are trying to figure that out, right? Whether it's a part-time thing on Etsy, uh, yeah. a part-time thing as an Amazon, you know, you know, using Amazon as a platform, you know, people are trying to figure out how do I turn my passion into my business? What, what are three, let's do a mini life course, three ways that people should be thinking about turning their passion into a business? That's a great question. I would say first you um, uh, take the, the small, let's say if your passion is like me, you know, bringing art to get to, to connect all these databases and put them, it's a lot of work. So the first thing I would do yeah. is test with, with the smallest amount of uh, thing that will get you to your passion. So maybe a YouTube page where, you know, you post a few artworks that are playing in stream and see if people pick up on it. That's one of the things that I did. I put how I wanted the paintings to play on the screen using software. I emulated that using a video and put it online. And it's actually the video that got the most views out of all the videos we posted before. So that gave me some in indication. Um, and so that's the first thing is like so take, so putting yourself putting yourself out there to try to get some uh, yes. some social proof that people actually want your product. Absolutely. And without without you going all the way, because a lot of times I did it before, you know, you want to build something. So you actually go all the way. Let's say you instead of launching one product, you prepare a product line, you know, like 20 products and prepare them and prepare the website and spend, you know, months doing that and then only launch only to find out people right. don't care. But you've already invested, you know, into 20 products and built your website and all of that. Uh, sometimes yeah. you, you have to do it for certain products, but for most products, you can run, you know, like do one thing and see how the reception right. of the market and continue to iterate like every small step. It is an iteration. Uh, so I would say launch is the smallest thing, then continue to engage yeah. in iteration and feedback. Even if 10 people are using it, a lot of times I think yeah. what happens is we think of until 10,000 people, you know, or 100,000 people is my community. There's little value yeah. in the community, whereas even the first few five, six people can give you the most value. Um, yeah. And it's not about stati statistical significance. It's more yeah. about, you know, feedback as you build. So these are, I yeah. think, in my opinion, the the best thing that you can do. Um, yeah. And finally, me, take, take some swings. I want to yeah. comment on that real quickly because, please. you know, it's interesting. I do, when I do keynotes or group trainings, Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't matter if it's for a hundred people, a thousand people, doesn't matter. I always say, yeah. Hey, can I talk to, um, five to 10 people within your group? Like, I know what you're telling me you want me to talk about, but I want to talk to people who are going to be there on what they want to walk away with. And mm -hmm. what I find is by the time I talk to the fifth person, all the themes kind of repeat themselves. Yeah. So to your point, you know, yeah. the first five people, six people, 10 people, they can give you a lot of great feedback. All right, so going going out there. So number one is kind of going out there, uh, testing it. Sounds like yeah. number two is be open to the feedback, right? Yes. Right. Listen to yes. the feedback and uh, yeah. and don't got to grow to ten thousand. You know, feedback. Just yeah. really, really actively yeah. listen. Yeah. yeah. What's what's number three? The number three is make some big swings. So a lot of times, especially if you are artistic or somebody who's creative. A lot of times the slow movement of of the of the business can you know hurt your creativity you know a lot of people feel creatively stuck for example if you have a whole line of products you want to put out and you put out just one and you're getting the feedback that thing i think uh is is detrimental to let's say a creative spirit who wants to put out far more things let's say out there so what i would say is Take one thing and make it make a big swing, you know, like uh, try every once in a while, do something that is big, that gives you joy and consider it as an experiment, but limit yourself. So let's say if you're doing experiments at $100, let's say per week, don't go out and do $10,000, you know, go out and do, let's say a, a $300 experiment, you know, so what that gives you, it gives you a little bit more leeway and a little bit more satisfying the passion. Why is this important is because to maintain that passion towards Move forward. A lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of founders get this burnout, and mainly because it's the grunt of daily work with with very little yeah. results. So sometimes yeah. doing that big swing actually fulfills your creative spirit and brings yeah. you back. It's like, yeah, I tried it, and maybe it works. Like sometimes big swings sometimes work as yeah, long as it's relatively work. big. You know, yeah, it doesn't yeah. kind of hurt your your uh, cash flow or something like that. Yeah, I'll, I'll add a couple of things. I appreciate that. I like that breakdown. Um, one, don't get overly emotionally invested. 
no matter how great the idea you think is, you got to be able to detach uh, and not take things personally and really be open to the feedback. And two, talk to people about your idea, get it physical, make it real. Don't hold it on to yeah. yourself. Nobody is going to steal your idea because only you can do it the way that you want to do it. And so there's sure. always a, you know, a new way we talked right before we went live on a, a second company I have called launch three which is a platform for mm. 18 to 26 year olds because i saw in your bio you have something called launch academy i'm not afraid to tell you about yeah. mine because if we can collaborate in ways it, you know it can be great to help the collective so in community you know um make it real and talk to people